Hi YouTube, it's Autumn. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your Toiletry 26 into a clutch or crossbody bag. Um, so this obviously is not Louis Vuitton. I got this at, where did I get it from? Neiman Marcus. Um, but it was at Last Call, which is their outlet store. So I don't remember what I paid for it, but I got a fairly good deal. It's Safiano leather. It was probably between $40 and $60, I don't remember. I bought it online during a sale that they had. But you can see if you're familiar with the Louis Vuitton Toiletry 66, it's very, very similar. Um, so there you go. So I don't know if it's exactly 26, I haven't measured it, but that's not the point of this video. So it has this zipper, and let me just show you the inside real quick. Um, it has a textile interior and then it has there we go it has one slip pocket here and it has this little tag that says Neiman Marcus if you can read that okay so what I want to do is show you how to turn that into a clutch uh, I have I don't have a black bag yet other than you know something like this that's Louis Vuitton I want to get some Louis Vuitton stuff but I'm not a big fan of Epi um, I feel like it scratches too easily, so I'm more interested in Empreinte, but Empreinte is pretty much out of my price range. So I'm making do with some pieces that I have. So the first thing that I decided to do to turn this into a clutch is to take this um, black and gold tassel that I have, which matches the black with the gold hardware on this item, and attach it to the zipper pull. So there's that. And I got the tassel at Steinmart for seven or eight dollars. Um, and then, just for a little extra bling, I have my little Louis Vuitton facetes, I think, bag charm. So I'm taking that and attaching it to the ring right here on the tassel. Okay, so there's that. And so now that makes a good clutch. And then I showed this to my boyfriend. I was like, what do you think about that as a, as a bag? And he said, it needs a strap. So, okay. So what I'm doing to add a strap is opening the bag up. And I have this chain, long crossbody chain. It has those two little clips on it. And this is something that, I don't remember where I ordered it. I thought I got it on Etsy. There are sellers that are there that have them. But I just checked and I didn't get it there, so it's possible I got it on eBay. Um, it's probably where I got it. <clears throat> anyway, so I got this chain, and what I'm going to do is on the side where the zipper pull is, or the zipper hangs out, there's a space there right under the zipper that goes into the bag. So I'm going to slip the chain through there, one end of the chain. I'm going to zip the bag up will make it a little bit easier. Well, I'll zip it up about halfway. I'm going to pull the chain through. Okay, so there's the chain. I'm going, sorry, I'm, some of this is off camera. It's a little hard to do it all on camera there. So there's one end of the chain there. I have the other end of the chain here. I'm going to clip those together and then leave the clip part hanging in the bag. So the clip is in the bag, so it's just one big loop of the chain is a big loop. So I just zipped that up, and there it hangs like that from the zipper. So now the only problem with this is that if I unzip it, then the chain just comes out like that. So when I get into the bag, I have to be careful about that. I have to set it down. I can't just get into it holding it very well. But that is how to turn a toiletry into a bag, crossbody or clutch. And then if you don't want the chain, you can tuck it inside, but there you go, that's it. Easy peasy. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more, please click the like button and the subscribe button below. And please leave any comments that you have to or questions. Um, that is all. Thanks for watching, bye. Have a great day.